your Bonita Spring Florida housing market update is in and you don't want to miss this one. Even if you're not looking to buy or sell real estate in the near term, it is important to understand what the real estate market is doing right now. So make sure you watch to the end of the video because you don't want to miss a thing. Hi and welcome to my channel and Manny, your pool home realtor, where you find real estate information no one else is sharing with you. And this info is direct, honest, straightforward, and without no sugar coating. So hey, let's dig in. On average, the market in Bonita Spring is higher than the rest of Lee County. Remember, real estate is local. What's happening in Bonita is not the same as happening in Fort Myers, Estero, or even in Naples. As one of the best cities for retire in the luxury life, Bonita Springs definitely come with some higher costs and more competition in terms of purchasing power. Right now, the market in Bonita Springs look like it's flattened. As, uh, as you guys can see, there's no big incline or decline in pricing. If you're looking to sell your Bonita Springs Florida home, here's what you need to keep in mind. Days on market right now is a 54, still lower than pre-pandemic times. We're seeing a few offers on homes right now, but our pending homes went up for the month of January. That's telling me that our season might be starting to heat up. All right, so closed sales. Closed sales are down, uh, just to be exact, the closed sales for the past month of, the, of January were 31 closings. Um, this is the lowest that had been in the past 10 years. Uh, so yeah, closers are a little bit down. I'm gonna tell you why in the next one. All right, so the other one is the new pending. New pendings, uh, we are at 76. Uh, I'm seeing an increase since we are entering our season of home selling over here in the area. So that might be telling us that there are a lot of people then entering the market. You know, of course, we got all the snowbirds, all the other people or of the homeowners, new homeowners that want to escape uh, maybe some other cities uh, from the cold weather or for whatever reason. Uh, so they're down here, they're you know, starting to shop around. So we probably gonna start seeing that increasing more. Another one that you have to be really, really aware of it is the active inventory. Active inventory right now, we are at 355 properties. This is, we're talking about single family homes. So inventory have been increasing a little bit. So we're just gonna keep in seeing what the market does. If we see that increasing and the months of supply increasing too, that might telling us that there's not enough buyers hitting the market. Months of supply right now in Bonita Springs, uh, we are at 12.6 months of supply. This is a mega buyer's market. Uh, this is up to 89% uh, from last month and 235% from last year. So this one is just telling me is that inventory is rising and less buyers entering the market. Uh, even though our, um, our active inventory, we're lower than we used to be, you're probably gonna start hearing that a lot. Uh, yeah, but in our inventory lower than had been pre-pandemic time. But if you don't have the buyers, you know, then that, that just doesn't align. The good thing is when the economic environment uh, get better, uh, all those buyers entered the market and then that would skyrocket. But until we see that happening, uh, I don't see those numbers moving. Uh, what this is might be bad for you sellers is, hey, you might, you're probably gonna have a lot of competition out there. So, so be able to, um, to put your house a little bit better, pricing, you know, maybe you need to clean up better the, the property. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, once we go into pricing, that's where, you know, why the, the house is selling or why it's not selling. So the other thing about Bonita Spring, Florida, Bonita Spring, Florida is a, is a cash driven uh, town. Uh, 67 properties of 67% um, of sales that happened in January were cash. So interest rate doesn't interact a lot into the Bonita compared to like Cape Coral, uh, maybe Lehigh or even though uh, uh, Fort Myers. So uh, there's a lot of cash um, transaction happening uh, over here in Bonita. So that might be, uh, you know, why there's not that, um, uh, you know, you don't see like, a, like an actually collapse like it happening right now in Cape Coral. So if you want to see that Cape Coral uh, video, double check in the description. I'm going to put it over there. So uh, nothing, guys. So let's, um, let's give my a little quick recap. By the way, if you're always finding value in my videos, liking, commenting, and subscribing will fill my heart with joy. Thank you. And don't forget, if you have any questions for me, 
put it in the description below. On February 29, I'm going to do a quick live uh, um, answering all those questions. So, hey, let's get back to the video. If you're looking to buy in Bonita Springs, uh, you should keep in mind that interest rate are between 7.4 and 7.6, even though uh, which 67% uh, of Bonita Springs home sales comes from cash buyers. Uh, uh, amount of uh, single family homes available for sale is 355 properties from starter homes all the way to luxury beach homes. Uh, check in the description below, you'll find links to search for these homes if you're interested. Uh, we're not seeing a bidding wars at the moment. We're seeing a slowdown in pending, which uh, puts you in a better position if you're, you know, for negotiation if you want to. Uh, there's a great options homes in Bonita Springs uh, from our pool homes are the best at building the area in my own opinion. So if you're looking at uh, pool homes, double check those. As always, I'm going to put that in the description and you're going to see like, I mean, they build it really, really nice. If you're looking at that, you know, that wow factor. So now that we know what's the market look like right now, it is a good idea to consider what things may look in the future. Now, I'm not a fortune teller but I do have some market expertise after all the years I have been working in real estate. My prediction based on what I know uh, from past experience is that the market will still be flat. Uh, we might see some price decrease here and there, but uh, I, don't, I don't think we're gonna see anything major. Uh, as we have people leaving the states uh, for any reason looking to move to Florida and enjoy our beach life. With no income tax and still lower property taxes, Bonita Springs is an attractive destination for luxury living at lower costs. So that's about where we are right now, hoping that the market would improve in pending sales uh, with more buyers coming in the near future, but there's no guarantee for it. So, so what I'll suggest you is uh, follow the market. If you're planning to sell or buy real estate in Bonita Springs, Florida, uh, contact me and let's see how I can help you. If you like what you're hearing and thinking you're ready to sell or make a move to Bonita Spring, Florida, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, get in touch with me using the contact information listed below. I'll be happy to help you buy, sell, or invest. Now, check this video, and I'll see you next time.